Hi, this is Toby, and today I'll be showing you how to grow Meta Sequoia Glyphus scroboides or Dawn Redwood from Hardwood Cuttings. Now, I like to grow Dawn Redwood from Hardwood Cuttings because with Dawn Redwoods during the fall, you know they lose some of their branches. And you can see sometimes they can lose quite a large branch like that. And if you take softwood cuttings, they will grow, but sometimes during the fall, they'll die back because they haven't produced any buds for next year. So even if they have roots, they'll still die back. But we're going to grow these from hardwood cuttings and I'll show you the process. So let's get started. So first what we're going to do is I have a meta sequoia here. I've taken cuttings off this guy before. It's a really good plant. Um, now, these are very, very easy to take cuttings from as long as you have any rooting hormone. It doesn't have to be this brand. As long as rooting hormone, indole, three butyric acid. You can do it and you just need some soil now this is just some regular garden so i had some old soil in here and i just put a bit of new soil in there as long as the medium can stay wet for the entirety of winter it's fine so this has lost its needles or leaves so to take cuttings you might be wondering what size is optimal now i've tried with a lot of size and as long as you can get a couple of buds in there it doesn't matter how big it is it's good so even if I take something, for example, like this branch, I know I don't know if you guys can see. If I literally take this branch like that, something like this could literally root as well. These dawn redwoods root very easily. Um, so what I'm going to do with something like this, I'll just dip this in to the rooting hormone for a bit, and now I will just stick it into the soil. So. Let's do the bigger piece. So I've got a piece here. Now these are all this season's growth. So you can see they're not that thick. These last season's growth, it should be fine, but I wouldn't suggest using growth more than three years old because it might take a bit longer. Again, you take your cutting, you get your rooting hormone, in case you wanted to see what it looks like. This is the liquid form. You dip it in here for around three seconds, take it out. You get your pot and you stick a lot of it in. Sometimes it will, the bottom is a bit flexible. It usually won't snap because they're quite flexible trees. Um, let's take one more from this tree or I'll take a bit more later on. So this is a this is also from the same season. It's a bit, it's obviously a bit larger. This will also root as well, but you can't cut this in half and expect it to root because there are no buds down here. As long as you have buds, you can root. So there's a couple of buds up there. So this entire thing will have to be one cutting. Again, I dipped it and it goes in. So here are the cuttings. I just took one more after I stopped recording because I found a branch I didn't want. I'm gonna keep them here outside unprotected. Um, we don't get frost here, but if you do get frost, just make sure that they don't freeze. You don't need to keep them in an extra warm area. As long as they don't freeze, it's fine. You want them to stay dormant. Um, these were the ones I did last season. There's some bold cypress in here as well. Like for example, this is a bold cypress, but the ones with buds, if I can show you meta sequoia buds, um, this one should be a meta sequoia. There's some buds there. So these are one year old cuttings. And if I come over here, this one is a two year old cutting. Same with this. This one is still losing the of leaves. Let me just get rid of that. I don't need that. This is a two year old cutting. You can see the size difference. Look at how much thicker it is. They are all from around similar thicknesses. This is around half a centimeter thick. The ones we took today are quite thin. The one-year-old ones, if you ignore the bold cypress, are also quite thin. But now I'm going to keep them in here, make sure they're wet or moist. And we're going to wait until spring. And once it starts to leaf out, I will repot those. And I will show you, what, and I'll actually tell you why there's a big difference between the first year and the second year, but not a really big difference between just planted and a first year one. So it's spring and I'll show you the meta sequoia cuttings and look at how they are leafing out. Now they probably will have roots, you can't see it through the bottom. I'll show a picture of when some of my other cuttings had roots. I want to pull them out now because it could damage the young roots. But again, in the first season, they're not going to do that much. These and these which haven't started leafing out yet, 
are only one season apart in terms of growth. So you can see not that much has changed in reality. This is a Menace to Quay as well. It will grow really weakly for the first season as it establishes roots. So you gotta you gotta nurse it through. You gotta make sure it's well cared for. Those are bold cypresses in case you're wondering. These are Menace to Quay, the one with the buds that are like that. Now, if it gets through the stage and these surely, I'm pretty sure they have because they have buds and they're not dead. They're gonna put up a lot of growth. So this is what you'll get after one season of growth. And after two seasons of growth, you'll get something like this and this. So this is just gonna go into a little bonsai or something. And this is two seasons of growth from a cutting around this big. And look at how well this has grown. This is even better. It's grown into the ground. I'll take it out. I'll show you the roots. So this is a probably a cutting that's been growing for two seasons. And ignore the ignore the white roots. I think these are probably from some weeds that I removed. But look at that. I'll show you. This is a cutting. This is where I cut it off the plant. And look at it. Let's compare how different these are so we've got one that's grown for two seasons starting its third season of growth the ones in here that are starting its second season of growth you can see how thin and scrawny they are and these are the ones we just planted and just starting its first season of growth so this is the difference you're gonna get in terms of growth the first and second season you see there's not that much of a difference I hope you can see these are gonna be weak and they're not gonna look that much different. But the moment they get their roots established and they, you let that grow for an entire season, this is what you're gonna get. An entire root system that you can do whatever with this tree now. So you can, I can probably root prune this now, although the needles are starting to come out and this is probably gonna be a forest tree. But look at it. So just a quick root pruning, just going to try and get a more radial root base so I can put this into a forest with some other cuttings that I have. But again, this is gonna survive. And look, look how healthy the growth is. It's not weak. It's not, it's not struggling. Unlike when you have the ones here where the buds are tiny, um, it looks weak. But once it gets to this stage, you can treat it like a normal plant. Um, it's a very quick way of propagating. You can see the other one I put in the bonsai pot. That one is doing really well as well. I'll probably repot it next year, but this just shows how easy you can grow meta sequoia from cutting. So although the meta sequoia isn't growing yet, or I should say the buds aren't swelling yet, I'm still gonna pull this apart. Um, I just wanna separate these two because the bold cypress is gonna grow and I feel like if I don't separate them, there's, there's gonna be not enough space for all of them to grow because bold cypress can grow really really good root systems really quickly. So I'm just gonna separate these. So we're gonna separate this now. I'm just gonna gently squeeze. And these, again, this is what you're gonna do after one season of growth. These have already been, these were stuck last year, fall, and have had one season of growth, although they're around the same size. Again, I said in the first season, they're not gonna grow that much, but I can guarantee you there's gonna be roots in here on pretty much all of the cuttings. So let's see what we get. So let's take a look at the meta sequoia. And this is after one season of growth. Now the top doesn't look like it's growing that much, but the roots have, and I'm not, probably not gonna prune it. I'm just gonna put them in a pot for now. I think there's another meta sequoia, yep. Good roots on this meta sequoia. So, I get all my meta sequoias. Now, I don't know what this is. I, I think it's a meta sequoia, but there's barely any buds on this. It's got a root system, but I don't know if it's gonna survive or not. It's tangled to something else, so I have to separate it. Yep, another meta sequoia. The buds are really small, again, because they put all their energy into growing this. So, now that they have a good root system, they will get established. That's another meta sequoia. So, I'm just gonna pot these up and I'll show you what the product looks like. So I just separate the cuttings. I planted these three as a clump, um, this one by itself. And after one season of growth, if they do manage to, 
to grow i feel like they will even though there's the buds are really small once they do start swelling and you get new foliage you're probably going to get something like this um so again these are three year old cut two year old i think two or three years old um you can also grow from softwood cutting so these are the ones that grew from softwood cuttings and they'll do really well too but again i re recommend hardwood cuttings because it's you can pretty much guarantee that your plant is going to grow and that it's not going to just die in fall so we're going to show you another update So here's an update of the Meta Sequoia cutting. You can see they flush out like normal, but they don't have that much vigor. You can see the shoots are quite short up here. Um, not much vigor here, but if we come to the ones that have been growing for several seasons, the one we did the earliest, this is really good. Um, you can see it's a it's like a normal plant. You can't tell it's grown from a cutting. The one that I repotted, I shouldn't have root pruned it that much when the leaves already come out so that's why some of it has died back the buzz down here but there's also some hail so it knocks some of the shoots off but metasequoia is quite strong so even though you can see it's a bit damaged i know it'll grow back the cuttings we took last season well not last season the one that's been growing for the entirety of last season you can see the shoots are quite vigorous when they come out although the buds look really small but you can tell these shoots are quite vigorous from how large the needle size is now these were some softwood cuttings again they look really vigorous as well um you can look how much growth this has actually put on for a softwood cutting so if you get softwood cuttings to survive through the winter as in they get large enough before fall you'll get really vigorous plants the next season but with these hardwood cuttings you're gonna have to wait one season where they don't really grow at all and baby it through and then the next season they'll just take off so it'll take slightly longer if you use this method but you'll get a higher survival rate for this. Whereas this, I put a lot of cuttings and only a bit of it survived because only some of it could grow large enough. I'll show you how vigorous this is. I'll show you the original plant I took it off. So here's the larger meta sequoia that we took it off. You can see it's also growing around that much. So it's practically got the same vigor as this. Um, I'll have to give this a prune soon. I make, might make a video on how to grow softwood cuttings. I will just take something like this from this season's growth like that and stick it in with some rooting hormone but that'll be for a different video and i think i'll show you one more update before i end the video this is the final update on the cuttings so these actually had a lot more vigor than i expected now you can see not all of them made it um so not all of them made it these small ones didn't make it but they weren't the smallest. I don't know why these didn't make it. You can see even the smallest one I took last time. That one thinks was the smallest one. It made it. It's not as vigorous, but it'll still make it. I think these were better sized cuttings. That's why they're more vigorous because they did have more energy stored in them. And look at the roots. So I think it's got enough vigor this season for it to grow normally. Doesn't need to wait a season. Let's look at the other ones. So the one I root pruned is here. Um, Some of these leaves again were lost because of hail but it's growing back this is doing fine this one though it got a bit scorched by the sun but it's fine you can see the buds are starting to come back that's fine if they get scorched they can still grow back again it's getting quite thick as well now the ones we planted in the, the clump um this one's growing quite vigorously you can see the leaves are quite big but the other two are doing okay. I think it's because this one's actually quite thick and it's dominating. The other one by itself is, again, it's also starting to thicken up. And you can see you get a lot better growth than before. And I'll show you the main plant as well, just to show you how vigorous it is. So this is the main plant. You would have seen it in my Meta Sequoia bonsai video. And look at how vigorous this is. Um, They do get a load of growth. Look at this growth. This is all this season's growth, this much. So, it is doing really, really well. I don't know if I'll take more cuttings off of it. Um, again, let's come in and look at the bark. Very beautiful. But let's go back to the cuttings we grew. So, I think that's about it for this video. Um, if you do have a meta sequoia at home, I do recommend you give this a go yourself. As you do get a lot of plants really quickly. And if you do want to make a forest kind of like me, you'll get enough plants eventually to make a forest. 
But anyways, thanks for watching this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comment them in the comment section below. And I'll try to answer them. But anyways, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next one. Bye.